Hey, what's up everyone? On today's vlog, I'm gonna share with you five smartphone apps that I think every veterinary student should use. disclosure I do not have any affiliations with these apps or these companies these are just five apps that I have found very helpful for me as a veterinary student through my first through fourth year of veterinary school and I want to share those apps with you the first app is plums veterinary drugs if you've been in vet school I'm sure you've used plums veterinary drug book um, we use it every single day in the clinic but instead of having to flip through all of the pages of the big drug book use the app um, it's very handy you know the app you can search for the drug it tells you the dosages any side effects etc etc it's a fantastic app to use the only thing is you do have to pay for it if you're a veterinarian however vet students it's free as long as you're in vet school you just have to register through them online so Vet students, take advantage of Plum's Veterinary Drug Book. It's super helpful. You will use it every single day you're in clinics. Um, so yeah, that's my first app. App number two is the Target app. Target is an antimicrobial app. Um, I think it's sponsored or produced by Bayer. What I love most about this app is that they have categories for infections. So for example, say your patient has an inner middle ear infection or an upper respiratory upper respiratory tract infection. You click on that localization and it brings up a list of antibiotics that you could use for that infection. But even more so, it tells you the primary pathogens that you're likely to see in those areas and which antibiotics would be more um, beneficial in that situation. This is an amazing app and also another cool thing if you click on the tab in the top right um, it goes over and tells you a little more. It, for example, it tells you sort of the cost wise, like um, is this a very cheap antibiotic or is this a very expensive antibiotic? So those are little cool tricks that, you know, especially as a veterinary student, I don't know what expensive antibiotics are yet. So I definitely want to be thinking through this process as I'm going to prescribe something for one of my patients. The third app is the Merck Veterinary Manual. If you've been in vet school, I know you've studied by Merck, and a lot of students use this to study for the NAVLE. So the Merck Veterinary Manual has been around for years, and they finally have created an app. And pretty much all of their information that you can find on the web is in the app. Um, it's really cool, it's really handy to have in clinics if you need to look up a disease, or kind of what I do, I need to review a disease before I go talk with clients so you know I'm ready for pretty much any question they have about that disease um, so yeah the Merck veterinary manual check it out so now for this next app I've put two apps in one um, these are two apps that help every student prepare for the NAVLE which is our national board exam the two apps one is called Zuku the other app is called vet prep these are two companies that provide study material for the NAVLE and they both have apps. So let's start with Zuku. Zuku is the company that I use to study for the NAVLE and I will say that their mobile app is not the best. Um, so their mobile app is more so a web-based app. So what that means is when you click on it on your phone within the app it actually takes you online. So it's a little... it's it's not as cool as a normal app. Um, you log in through the app and it takes you to their main website through the app, but you still have access to all of your material. You have access to your study questions, to notes, videos, audio, etc. So it is very handy if you are in clinics or if you are on the road traveling, for example, I played the audio while I was traveling, sort of used it sort of as a podcast one day. Um, so it was definitely very helpful to have the app. It's just, it's not the most appealing. Uh, the app looks sort of very cheap, and so I kind of wish Zuku would work on that. But again, it was great for when I was on the go. Vet Prep is the other company that offers Navly review material, and they have a fantastic app as well. Their app is pretty much similar. Um, it's not web-based, but the app, everything is built into their app. 
Um, you can access all of your notes, your study questions, etc. Um, and it does have a really nicer layout. Um, so a lot of my classmates that use Vet Prep, they said they found themselves using the app more than actually logging in on the website. Whereas when I use Zuku, I use my laptop for most of my study. But I think you can't go wrong with either one, so Zuku or Vet Prep, but you do have to buy a subscription. Um, and these are not cheap at all, but you're buying the package. Yeah, so Vet Prep and Zuku definitely comes in handy as a fourth year veterinary student. And the last app that I recommend is OneNote. If you've been in school, I'm sure you've come across OneNote or you've heard of it. So this is exactly what it sounds. It's a note-taking app. Um, but it's very cool because you can upload text, pictures, videos, etc. And it puts it all in the app and it creates a notebook. And so it is definitely a digital version of a notebook. But what I like about it is it's cloud-based. So I can access that notebook from any of my devices. Um, as soon as I make a change on my iPad, it transfers that change over to my laptop. So I really do like that and I've used that mostly through my first and second year of vet school studying. And our school actually uses it quite a bit through our case-based learning that we do. So our students at our school get very used to OneNote. Um, but yeah, I just think it's a great tool to have. So OneNote. And there you have it. So those are five apps that I recommend every vet student using. There are a lot of other veterinary apps out there. Please leave the ones that you love in the comments. So yeah, if you have any questions about these apps, don't hesitate to reach out. I'll be glad to help you. Until then, see you later.